Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So, T.I. is the latest member of the, you know, Confronted Comedian crew. So, kind of funny when you think about it. I think, um, I think T.I.'s last name is Smith as well. I think his last name is, um, Smith. I think his name is Clifford Smith. Let me know in the comment section if I'm right. But apparently, and I want to dig deep into this, what I've been talking about. Because like I said, I feel like I have to debunk some stuff and basically, uh, you know, pull the rug from some people and call these fake uh, self-righteous, fake uh, thick skin people out. But apparently there was a comedian that him and Tiny... Uh, went to go see or at least happened to be doing a skit so T.I. and Tiny was sitting in the audience and basically what happened was T.I. went on the stage and kind of like took the mic and sort of like well became the star of the show because basically this comedian tried to make remarks about some of those allegations about them possibly doing uh, unthinkable uh, acts to people. But come to find out they didn't have enough evidence to charge neither T.I. or Tiny. But at the end of the day it did cost T.I. some movie projects. It cost T.I. him reprising his role in, in the third installment of Ant-Man. Which by the way I think T.I. should have been able to play in the movie. I think he shouldn't have got dropped I think that was BS. But nevertheless, T.I. basically went in on the comedian. And then, of course, they went into that, oh, I'm a comedian, I'm supposed to tell jokes and all. Like I said before, I'm getting tired of hearing this entitlement with comedians. Like, once again, they can say whatever they want to say. And I kind of got a kick out of that. For the people that are saying, well, you know, comedians get paid to tell jokes and people need to learn how to take a joke and all this stuff. And I don't have to learn how to do shit. I don't have to take a joke. I don't have to let you sit up there and poke fun at me. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you saying that because it ain't getting dead to you. And I can tell you right now, Nobody don't like nobody poking fun at them. And to sit up there and say that you supposed to accept it, why? Because you say so? Fuck you. Like I said, how about you do jokes about what's going on with you? And to be honest with you, that T.I. and Tiny stuff, that's real personal stuff. Whether that's stuff that's been made to the public I think that's like inappropriate because that's not nothing to make light of people being accused of um, you know doing things to people inappropriately it's nothing funny about that at all and, and I mean that I stand 100% on what I believe like I said I have no problem with comedians telling jokes but there's a difference between telling jokes and then you trying to humiliate somebody. And then I think there is a such thing as crossing the line. Because for everybody that's sitting up here that got an opinion on Will Smith hollering about, well, this should have happened, that should have happened. Like I say, you never know what's going to happen at that moment. And from my observation, this Chris Rock, Jada Pinkett, Will Smith thing is something that was building up and it's deeper than just that one joke because they have history but yeah when T.I. got through talking and breaking it down said hey don't do this don't do like I said I don't blame him because at the end of the day you don't want that refreshed you don't want that re rehatched Cause you know you got the purity police and the so-called cancel, so-called cancel culture. Even though 
there was not any evidence to bring T.I. or Tiny up on charges, you just don't even want people talking about that. And I'll say this once again. Should T.I. had got on the stage and took the mic? No. But should the person, the comedian, had started to go in on them about something so personal, delicate, and a sensitive subject? Nah, that person shouldn't have did that. Like I said before, Will Smith has shook up the industry. Oh yeah, and I wanna say to that white dude that keep coming on my channel, pretending that he black, stop it man before it get real nasty but real talk i just wanted to give my opinion on the situation but anyway this your boy town biz i am out